What's up, guys? It is Wednesday, May 31st. It's 8.34 a.m. And this is the crypto market update. So we have the monthly close that's happening today. So we're going to take a look at some monthly charts, look at some of the key market drivers like the bond yields, dollar, stock market, gold. We'll get into Bitcoin. We'll also cover Bitcoin dominance, see where that's at. Cover Ethereum, XRP, XLM, and Velo. So if you're new here, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get updated in real time when we drop these market updates, newsletters, and deep dives. Also, there's an important conference today that we're going to cover later today for our, our deep dive video. So definitely subscribe so you can get alerted when we drop that. So right into it. If I go to the monthly chart for the bond yields, we have the sell warning still. Still no sell now yet. We still don't have the sell now yet. We'll see how we open up the month tomorrow but right now still no sell now we're kind of ranging in between that zone and we've yet to get above that 786 so if we go to the monthly right there you can see the 786 right here that's around 3.894 percent so until we get above that point there's no need to panic or uh, below it right now and we really want to see the 3.25 percent kind of get broken there that's that support um, you can see that we we broke that trend line. We've been tracking that for a bit. We bring that up. So that was that trend line right there. We broke it, but we are trying to get back above it right now. Unless we kind of pull it a little closer like this to get these lows over here. And that was just a retest that we did the other day, getting up to it. If I were to pull this over here, make sure that hits there. Yeah, that that could slide as a as a retest rejection. Uh, two times actually came up rejection rejection and then yeah so right now on the micro fib we broke the 786 so we can then target 3.556 or 2.618 fib in the 786 of the this move right here which would be around 3.38 to 3.4 percent for the bond yield so we'll have to keep an eye on that and watch that and then also too we have this trend line coming down like that it's like every single time I think I covered it on these moves repeated themselves. So like we had a small kind of move, a medium move, and then we had a bigger move. So I would say if we break and come back down below this, yeah, we're going to come right to there. And it's a matter of if we hold there or not, if we hold there, we could give another run up, but if we break there, we're going to come down and test probably around 3% for the, the bond yields. So now let's go to the dollar. So if we go to the monthly chart for the dollar, we already got the sell now back here. Um, we actually came up and we're super close to testing the 786. We've yet to do it uh, at 104.771. If I go to the weekly chart, you can see that, yeah, we didn't touch it. We got close to it. So we could press up and hit there, but that's where we need to get rejected at. It's a very critical point. So we want to see us get rejected there. Also, if we look at the past kind of rise we had with the dollar, how many weeks was it? It was one, two, three, four. And then ultimately we rolled over there on after. So we're on our fourth week right now. So one, two, three, four. We'll have to see how um, June pans out for the first two weeks. Cause then probably by the the ending two weeks of June, we'll we'll start our descent again. And we can watch this trend line like this for that to break. We want to see that break, have the dollar come down, cryptos will pop up because of it. If we go to the daily chart. Yep, you can see we're still holding that level. Um, we want to come down, break the 104. If we go to the 12 hour, 786, we we actually broke above. So we have this high down to the low. We broke above the 786 just a few hours ago. Right now we are holding it as some support. So we're holding as some support right now, which is at 104.39. If we start pressing up here, yeah, the 104.77 is that macro 786. And the 1618 extension on the micro move is 104.94. So that's that zone we want to get rejected by if we keep pressing up right here, which is not too far away. Definitely not too far away. So that's where we want to get rejected at. I would say this zone right here, if we do keep pressing up. If we look at the momentum, the momentum is starting to kind of wane over. We're still up here, so we need to see a cross down below the 80 line, just like back here when we saw the cross down below the 80 line. That was the start of the momentum turning for the dollar. We still need to see that over here. We go to the six hour chart, get on a little micro time frame. We do have the MACD flip red. We do have the TSI actually cross down. Um, we did see kind of same similar movement over here. But uh, if we go to the past and look at the past time that we were rallying up with the dollar, yeah, these are 
where we're at in the six hour TSI is the same kind of levels like over here, over here, over here, where we kind of rolled over and saw the momentum shift. So I'm expecting that to be the case pretty soon here for the dollar. We just need to see some fall through. We can just get a nice break below like 104. We can break below 104, then we're going to have a more sustained move to the downside. If we go to the 12 hour chart, we have the prepare to sell soon signals. We haven't had a dollar prepare to sell soon on the 12 hours since we topped here in September of 2022. So this is pretty big because when the dollar ultimately does get that 12 hour sell now signal, it's likely we're going to have a, a mean move down. So we're going to have to watch for that in the discord. So if we're not in the discord, the link will be on the bio. We have the dollar signals rolling through there. Check that to see when the dollar flashed that 12 hour sell now signal. If we go to the NASDAQ 100, the US NASDAQ 100, we're on the three day chart. And if we're looking um, kind of where we're at right now, it's 14,300. If we go to the weekly chart, we actually have some prepare to sell soon's. Um, just like back here, we have prepare to sell soon. So, but sometimes it actually pans out like this was the March of 2020 crash, but then there was other times where it didn't, um, there were just kind of micro kind of pullbacks. But this prepare to sell soon is nothing to kind of uh, glance at. It, it's something to take note of because when we get a that sell now signal, we could have a more su substantial pullback with the stock market. We go to the monthly chart for it. We are break. We broke above the seven eight six of this move. So we had this high down to the low. We broke above the seven eight six. We closed above it on the last monthly candle over here, and then on um, this monthly candle we had follow through. Um, so we could target sixteen thousand two hundred sixty one. And if I was just pulling this bit right here from this high down to the low for the macro, oh, we hit the 702, but that's around 15,000, 15,100. Um, we can break above there, hold that support. We're going to keep rallying up um, for the US NASDAQ 100. We could even hit 21,000 yeah, around there. Crazy. Uh, that would be the case. But yep, so we're going to watch that. And then we have the trend line kind of that we're holding that support on. If we break that, that's a no go. So we're going to have our, our eyes on that one. And definitely 13,000 is the level that we want to hold above. It was such a key level here where candle body closes on the monthly. Rejected, 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 got above, back down, support at first, broke down below, rejected, 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 got above, support. So we want to hold that 12,900. And we're about to see, well, we have the one month stock RSI cross up on the 50. And then the MACD is curling in and the TSI as well. And we're above the zero line. So. That's pretty solid right there. We want to see June have follow through. We don't want to see us erase this candle right here. If we go to gold, we're at 1,960 right now. We have a one day prepare to buy soon. If we go to the monthly chart for it, we're holding above um, some key some key candles over here. And we're actually above the 786 and trying to hold it as support from this high down to the low. So ready high down to the low. We have the 786 we're trying to hold above. If we can hold above and press up through the 2070 level, 2400 for gold is in the cards right there. So we got to keep our eyes on that. Uh, let's look at the momentum down here. So the momentum right now is rising up. We've got the TSI rising up, the MACD, and the pink is above the blue. So we're looking good on that end. We go to Bitcoin right now. It's at 27,100. And we are... We don't want to come back down and break below 26,900, 27,000. If we go to the one day chart, you can see it. The 786 is at 26,400. I would say I, I wouldn't want to see us break below 27,000 and have a candle body close below it. Because if we put this horizontal line here right at 27,000, you can see we had like the bodies close above here. We had a touch here. We kind of mess around with it here. If we want to see, continued short-term bullish momentum. I want to see us hold that level. And then ultimately we need to get back about 30K for Bitcoin. If we're on the 12 hour chart and we're looking at the momentum down here. Sorry, the one day chart, the one day chart momentum is starting to, to wane a little bit. I don't want it to be like kind of one of these fake out rallies and curl back over kind of like back here, back here. I don't want to see the same thing happen right here. So if we looked at those times, that was February, 2020. We did roll over here was like April of, uh, no, I'm sorry. Did I say February 20th of 2023 rolled over and then back here, like April 20th, 2023 rolled over. I don't want to see us roll over right now. And then also too, if I were to hide those indicators, draw a trend line, even you can see that 
we kind of touched that trend line as well. So we want to hold the level that we're at really 27,000. We could go a little lower, like 26,000. 600 something around there but we don't want to see us go lower than that point like that but i'd really like to see us hold that 27k and then we need to reclaim back above 28k and break above this trend line hold that support look at the bottom indicators see the momentum curling up here we want to see it cross back up for the stock rsi if we go to the three-day chart you can see we are crossing up on the three day, but the one day is kind of, so the medium time frames are kind of rolling over a little bit, but some higher time frames are just crossing up. So it's like a battle right now. Who's going to win the long, the bigger, higher time frames or the medium time frames? Usually the higher time frames will always win. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. And then if we look at Bitcoin dominance on the weekly chart, we actually are starting to roll over here. So we're seeing the stock RSI getting close to crossing down through that 50 line and the TSI ready to curl down and the MACD, and we have the sell warning. So Bitcoin dominance is looking almost ready to curl over here, and we could have a pretty big alt season if Bitcoin can maintain the level where it's at and hold that support. We don't want to see Bitcoin fall and Bitcoin dominance fall. We want to see Bitcoin dominance fall, Bitcoin be flat or go up, and then altcoin season will happen. But this is looking very promising. If we look at Ethereum, Ethereum's holding some nice support right now. We we want to see it hold above 1850. Uh, right now it's looking pretty fine. I'm not going to go too far into depth with Ethereum. And then XRP right now, if we go to the, the weekly chart, we want to get above 54 and a half and hold that support. Critical to do that because then we can target around 73 cents. If we look at the one month chart, the one month candle candle right now, uh, this is like a beautiful, I want I wanted to see above 50 cents hold on a monthly. So right now, if we can hold where we're at, have this monthly candle close in a lot in 11 hours and 12 minutes, that'll be pretty solid. Um, then ultimately getting above that 54 and a half, 55, because uh, then we'll target 73 to 91 cents. And on the monthly chart, we have the momentum crossing up here. Stock RSI about to get above the 50 line. MACD about to flip green. TSI about to cross. It's looking very nice. Looking very nice as far as XRP goes. Seems to me XRP is like leading the market because it's just higher up closer to these tops here and the whole rest of the market's not. And if XRP is going to break up through here, it's probably with a positive resolution of the case. And that's good for all the crypto. So I think XRP is leading the way in telling us the future of the whole crypto market. So that's looking solid. That's the one month chart. If you look at the three week chart, we're, we're rising green in the MACD. We already got the buy now. Stock RSI is up here. That's all good. The pink's about to cross through the blue. We go to the two-week chart. The pink is about to cross through the 50 line and it's above the blue right now. So it's looking great. And the MACD got another dark green and the TSI is about to rise vertical. Look at the last time it rises vertical. It's back July 2020, August of 2020, September 2020, which is when XRP was done its bear market bottom and it did its like 10x from like 15 cents all the way up to over $1.50. So I think we're in the early stages of the big bull run for XRP and the whole crypto market. I, I just think XRP is leading the way and showing us what the rest of the market's going to do. XLM right now, I think if XRP is going to start to shoot, XLM is going to start to shoot too. And XLM's at a steal right now because it hasn't gone up as much as XRP, but it will follow it. And XLM and XRP are looking strong on all the multi kind of pairing charts that we look at. Plus Stellar has a one month prepare to buy soon. It has a three week prepare to buy soon. I think it has a two week prepare to buy soon. I already got the buy now. We came to retest back down. Um, we look at the 12 day, we already had a buy now come in. And yeah, and we're holding on some critical support right now. So XLM is looking really nice. In our group session this week, I'm gonna look to see if it's time to really kind of pack our bags with more XLM and XRP and kind of limit and kind of just consolidate more into some select coins here. But I think XLM is going to hold on the 10 day, the stock RSI 50 line. I'm going to, I think we're going to see a cross up. I think we're going to see the TSI start to go vertical, just like XRP was starting to go vertical, right? I think XRP is showing us what XLM is about to do and XLM is out of steel right now. And yeah, so I, I think it's looking pretty good. Velo right now, so Velo's at 0 0.003379. If we go to the one week chart, we are about to see a cross up on the one week. So I don't think this moves over. I really don't. I think it's just a brief little pullback to then 
go up to 0 0.0077, then we'll probably convert back into XLM. But three day chart, we have the three day buy warnings. We're about to flash the buy now in like two days and 12 hours because we have the TSI about to cross up, the MACD is about to flip green. We have the stock RSI crossing up. So that's all looking good. So, and we had a huge volume spike. Huge volume spike in the, yeah, right here. Um, that was like what we saw over here when we saw X uh, Velo really start to shoot. So I do see 0 0.007 in the cards for Velo. At that point, we'll swap back into XLM because I don't think XLM is going to shoot to around what, 18 cents before Velo gets to 0 0.0077. So ultimately, I think that swap trade is going to do very, very well and at least hit a double over XLM. Convert back, we'll get two times the amount of XLM before XLM ultimately does come up to the 18 cent level and higher. So that's what I'm seeing, guys. So that's it for the market update. I'll be doing the newsletters today, the deep dive today, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, get updated when I drop those videos, and I'll see you in the Discord.